Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, shalom, aloha, salam alaikum, and grand rising. And we are rising to the top, we are rising to the top. Family, next month, actually this, this month, I think starting from Monday, I'm going to be detoxing. Yeah, I need to detox and, you know, get rid of a few things in my system. Um, family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, shalom, aloha, salam alaikum, and grand rising, and grand rising, and we are rising to the top. I love each and every one of you, and um, I like to talk about things that are happening, even though I talk about spirituality, and um, when it boils down to spirituality, right, it's really about being righteous. Now, I'm not a Christian. I was born into Islam. And I've been to church, you know, I went to a Christian school, so I know a few things about Christianity. My mom is a Christian. Um, it's five of us. I'm the second born. Maybe that's why I'm a little cuckoo. My older sister go to church. She has four kids. They all go to church. I have two, I have cousins that, that goes to church. So basically my family, I can say 99.99999 are Muslims. And maybe that little tiny half, 1%, you know, is, is Christian. So I respect all religions. It just as I know better, okay? And when I did my past life regression, the first thing my mama said to me is that there is God. My spirit guide told me there is God. But she proceeded and said, the God that we have been programmed to believe or to view God as, you know, we have been programmed to, to view God as a man, to view God as a human being, my spirit guide told me that's not what God is. My spirit God told me, everything that you've, you, you've been told about God is wrong. That's not what God is. But there is God. Okay? So if you're watching this video, there is God. I don't believe in God. I know God. There's a difference. I know God because I see God in you. I know God because I see God in nature, in trees, in the air that we breathe in. Nobody sees the air, we breathe, the air but you're breathing. Right? That's God. You don't see God, but you get the benefit of God. You feel God. You breathing in the air is you feeling God. When you see me, you go, wow, princess is a beautiful woman. That is God. Because God is inside of me. When I see a cat, when I see a dog, and I'm like, wow, that's a beautiful animal. When I see a horse, that's God. When I look at the sky and I see the beautiful clouds, that's, the, that's God. When I see the sun, the sun, S-U-N, shining bright. And giving me all the nutrients that I need, all the vitamins that I need. That's God. When I take water and I, I drink water and it quenches my thirst, I say, thank you, that's God. When I'm dirty after cooking and, and I get inside of the, the bathroom and I, I open the shower and it's hitting my face. Because sometimes I put my shower cap on and I'll let the water hit my head. Even though it's not touching my real hair, the, the water, just the sound of it and the water dripping down my face. It feels good, and I'm washing and rinsing my body under my boobs, my pussy, my arm, under arm, my neck, my ear, and the water is hitting every part of me. I turn around my back, and I say, thank you. That's God, because I feel so good. That's how God makes you feel. When you have God, you feel good. Everything feels better. If you think I'm lying, after cooking, after a long day, when you really stressed out, after jogging, after working out, get in the shower and let the shower hit you. Take a long bath. Maybe not even a bath, just a shower. Let It's summertime. Let that, not too cold, not too warm, you know, let it hit your body. And see how you feel. When you get inside the house, when you get in the room, right, when you're in the bathroom, when you get in the room, lay on your bed, butt naked. Just lay on it butt naked. Just lay there butt naked for, for at least a good two minutes. And, and, and just feel, feel, feel your, your body. That's God. And so um, today's message is that grand rising and we're rising to the top, okay? God is beautiful. I know God. I don't believe in God. There's a difference, okay? The world is hurting. The world is hurting. The world is has become such an unhappy place for a lot of us. Hear me. I love being here on planet Earth, but there are some days I don't like it. And I know you can relate. It's normal. 
Every day ain't going to be he, 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 no. Some days you wake up in the morning, I'm like, if somebody talk to me today, I'll curse them out. It's normal, right? The world is hurting. The world is, it is becoming unbearable. The system is not going to get any softer. It's going to get harder. They've planned all of this so that we can keep fighting each other every day for survival. They, this is planned. They did this on purpose. Every time I go on social media, even if it's a, a good video, it could be a beautiful video. When you go to the comment, you will see something negative. That tells you that the world is bleeding. When I say the world, I don't mean the universe itself. When I say the world, people, us. And that's the reason why I am so focused on having my own space where people can come in even if I can give you healing I can do my Reiki work I am certified to do distance meaning you can be in UK you can be in Europe you can be in Africa and I will, st I will still do my work because it's energy it's spirit you are spirit inside the body and what I'm doing is I'm not tempering with the body I'm going in there and, and basically God is just going to use me to go in there and cleanse your spirit that's all so you don't have to be in my face you don't have to book me in person i can do it over the phone just doing this yes but i do want to have my own space so people can come in and i will hear you vent it out even if you don't want to come in and get some energy work and you just want to talk and vent it out and cry it out oh you just want to hug come to me I feel like therapy should be free. Once every year or once every two years. The, the, the system, our insurance, it should be free. Just like when you have a child, they, you, you are told to, to, to vaccinate your kids, get vaccines for your kids, polio, all the hepatitis, all these vaccines, right? They make it compulsory that we're supposed to vaccinate our kids. I think they should make therapy compulsory for, for, for humanity. People are hurting. And if you're a spiritual person and you know that the world um, moves or the world functions on vibration, and you see, the vib you see how people are hurting, that tells you the vibration of the universe. That we are not vibrating on a higher frequency because people are stressed out people are tired people are angry people are sick and all of this thing decrease the the, the 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 vibration the higher the vibration the higher people the happier people are all this stuff right now in uk they're stabbing everywhere that's a lower vibration. People are not happy. When people are not happy, they tend to do lower vibration stuff. So to me personally, I think that they should make therapy available to everybody. People, it should be just like we, I can walk into any pharmacy right now and get vaccine and get, and get some shots. But I can't walk to any hospital or any therapy session and say I need therapy. The world needs it. And I say healer. I hope that one day when I have my own spot, my own space, you can come in and 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 and, and release some some stress, some some tension. That's all I want to do. Thank you for watching. Take time for yourself, okay? Yesterday I woke up early in the morning. I was um not yesterday. I went to bed early Friday night, so I woke up like around three in the morning, four in the morning. I waited till five th um four thirty five. And I walk to Fordham. I walk all the way to Fordham. I walk back home. And then I walk back again. And then when I got home, I went to the bathroom and I took a bath. And it felt so good. I just laid in the living room couch and I watched TV. I was watching Friday. Do whatever you got to do to take care of yourself. Okay? If you need therapy, go. There's nothing wrong. We're getting some energy work done. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with seeking counseling. There's nothing wrong with therapy. We are hurting. Maybe you're not hurting. But take yourself outside the box and look at the world around you. 
you will see it. Take care of yourself. Seek help if you need it. Don't let society laugh at you, especially if you are a man. Don't let society go, oh, men are this, men, men don't do this. Listen to me. You and I are the same. Outside the spacesuit, we are the same. There's no such thing as this is a male's energy and this is a, a, a woman's energy. No, there's no such thing. It's not, there's no gender. There's no such thing as, matter of fact, some of you that astral project, if you person that astral project, please, the next time you astral project, if you are a man, try to try to hold your penis and see if you have a penis. You don't have a penis. Once you leave the body, you don't have a penis. If you are a female, try to grab your vagina. Your vagina. Try to, look, this is my breast. See how I just grabbed my breast? I'm grabbing it. I can feel it. When you leave your body, right? When you leave your body and your spirit is standing there looking at your physical body, this physical body, you hear it, right? You hear the sound? When you leave your body, when you astral project and your spirit is standing next to this physical body, touch it, touch your spirit. Do this and see if you can hear the sound. There's no such thing as this. You see, when spirit come to you, spirit, spirit come. You, look, this is, look at this. This is spirit. You see this shadow? This shadow, that's spirit. So they don't feel anything. Don't not this my my, my physical body. Look at the shadow. My shadow this, look at the bed. The shadow on the bed. That's that's your spirit. So outside this space suit, we are all the same. We are all shadow. We are all light. That's all we are. What makes us different is that this shadow, this shadow is in this body. And this body has a, a, a breast. So when I the further the shadow is in, in this body, when I touch this breast, I will feel it. But when you when the spirit leaves, there's no such thing as a breast, a penis, a vagina. You don't have it. We are all one. Look at this phone right here. See it? You see how it's black? That's this who we are when we leave this. When we leave, you see how the screen is dark? That's what that's who you are when you leave this this body. All of us. It's not a man, it's not a woman, it doesn't have a penis, it doesn't have a vagina, it doesn't have nothing. It's just straight spirit. But when this when when this phone it's in a body, then it works, right? Then it feel. Then you can you can turn it on. You can touch it. You can play music. You can go on YouTube and do a lot of things. But once it leaves, you can't do anything anymore. So when I when I, when I say that we are the same, I mean that on the spiritual sense, on the physical sense, no, we not. But on the spiritual, we the same. Thank you for watching. I love you and always give yourself a heart. Trust me. Mm.